Hi everyone and welcome back. With the start of 2023, Samsung has some bad news for Tizen-based Galaxy Watch users. Before sharing that, don't forget to check out this watch face from Inspired Watch Faces, which is available for giveaway. Check out the link down in description for free coupons. They are available for both Tizen OS and Wear OS, and once again they are limited in number, so make sure you try your luck as soon as possible. Okay, now talking about the bad news. Samsung will stop supporting all Tizen based Galaxy smartwatches in 2023, which means no updates for Galaxy Watch 46mm from 2018, Galaxy Watch Active 1, Watch Active 2, as well as Galaxy Watch 3 from 2020. Furthermore, Samsung has also announced that from Feb 2023, no new watch faces will be added to the Galaxy Store. That means if you want to download any new face from your favorite developer, you have to get it from Google Play Store. And that only works for Galaxy Watch 4 and onwards. Now talking about the watch face design, this is Inspire 21 from Inspire Watch Faces. It has a modern digital design with information which is distributed in a tile form at the top and bottom of time. For example, at the top we have our day, date and upcoming events while the bottom section has step counter, heart rate monitor and calories burned. Also you can use your alarm shortcut just by tapping here. Talking about customization, just long press on the watch face and now tap on customize. Here you can change different color combinations with this watch face, like this. Next you can change the color of time highlighted in the background. In the end we have few settings for complications. So this is Inspire 21 available on Google Play Store. Check it out and now let's see it's always on display mode. So always on display mode with this face is nice as well. We have our time present here in a black and white combination while the rest of the information is dimmed down to conserve battery life. So that was all about for today's episode and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.